We are making this video for those trying to decide if the 2018 Yamaha Viking 6 Ranch Edition will fit your needs by letting you know about ours. We own a dirt car racetrack with the property spread out over a half a mile. We need to be able to safely and easily load people, haul cargo, and keep it looking clean and presentable for passengers. We like that a metallic sand color for 2018 will not show a lot of dirt and dust for the environment it'll be working in. We also want to be able to hit some trails with it without having to buy a separate machine. We're upgrading from the golf cart and wagon that we used to haul people and cargo with, but that was way too slow and had a limited hauling capacity. We are up here in Michigan's Upper Peninsula testing out the recreation portion of the Viking 6. Trying to answer some questions for you that we could not find prior to purchasing the Viking and other reviews and things that we are looking through. You see we're not avid riders and we're playing a long sleeve shirt, jeans, and hiking shoes on out for the ride. You can look up the factory features that the Ranch Edition comes with, but we added on the folding windshield in front, which is great for the cool breeze at nighttime, or if you're going through rain or hitting heavy water puddles. We also added on the locking glove box, which is a little bit of a pain because you have to use a key to open and close it every time, but the reason we put it in there and I want to have things in there and keep them locked up, so it's not a big deal for us. All we do is keep a backpack in the front seat with it belted in, and we can get to our stuff easy, not a problem from there. Um, it has a sun top that comes with it from factory in this edition, which is great, keeps the sun off you, keeps you cool in the warm days like today. We added on the cargo box from Yamaha, that's great, there's a lot of room in this thing, it does lock on there, and doesn't have to use a key to open and close that. So we have all of our stuff packed into the back, so a couple bungee straps in there to keep it in place, but nothing sliding around, plenty of room to put all the stuff in there. So we had the whole back seat that's wide open yet, we're going to take a bunch of things, go to different areas, but the back what we need for today. So I'm six foot five and Erica is five foot six. So it's a big difference in long legs from one person to the other. So we have the seat has three different holes. We have it in the middle hole, it can go up one or back one more. But in the middle hole right now I have plenty of room. And in there the seat does not automatically adjust with any levers. You gotta physically take the bolt out with a socket and put it back in. But we left with that the whole time. I got plenty of room, very comfortable for riding all day long, and she can jump in and reach the pedals as well. So for the passenger and the middle person, there's a handhold bar over here. This is also in the middle position, which is, again, great for my long arms or Erica to sit in the passenger side. It's uh, quick, only takes around 30 seconds or so to people to flip the pins and move it in and out. It can be one person or two person to move that. So the back seat also has a ton of room in here. So I have a good two to three inches in front of my knees, so riding back in the back seat all day long wouldn't be a problem. The machine is designed for six full grown adults. So if you were packed up with six people, I wouldn't take that all day long. With four people, you got plenty of room to spread your knees a little bit. If you're a little bigger person, so you got plenty of comfort back and forth throughout the trails. But if I load it up, six people, take them on to the something to eat, going from the campground, that wouldn't be a problem at all. So yesterday, the, we put on 180 miles, and these seats have a lot of comfort. Didn't have any problems with getting as comfortable in the seat, things like that. So uh, great for all day riding. Looking at our gauge cluster, we have two trip meters, trip A, trip B. So you want to use one for the day, you want to keep track of your gas. And, uh, you can do a clock and see your hours on the machine as well. The speedometer, so if you're going down the side of the road, you got to stay under 25 miles an hour. You can actually know if you're going 25, not break any laws. Have your gas gauge on there so you can see where you're at. Going down the trail around 30 to 40 mile an hour, and for the most part, uh, it seems to be using around a quarter tank of gas for every 35 miles that we're going along. So around 140 miles per tank full with the 9.7 gallons that we hold. We went through a lot of different types of trails, everything from real windy, sandy trails, rocky trails, washout areas, up and down steep hills, and through water holes of 12 inches of water in them without a problem. With a long wheelbase, it can be difficult to maneuver on obstacles in the trail. If I was primarily using it for trail riding, 
I would just have the regular Viking that's a little bit shorter. A couple things to think about. The Viking 6 is a fairly large machine, so it's not going to fit in your typical utility trailer you haul your lawnmower with. So this is a 20 foot trailer this thing is on. It takes up a good portion of a trailer. There's still room if we want to put a quad or something like that on the front of it. We can do that without a problem. But keep that in mind, it's not going to fit in a smaller trailer that like you might already have at home. So the Ranch Edition comes with the sun top on it, and we added on the windshield. So all the accessories, equipment that comes with any Viking machine is rated for the speed of the machine, which is 50, 55 mile an hour. So if you're going on a short trip, you know, down the road wouldn't be a problem, but taking a highway trip all the way up north like we did in Michigan, you have to take off the windshield, which that's a piece of cake. It takes around 30 seconds, two people to flip that on and off. The sun top's a little more work. you got to have an animal wrench take that off. Otherwise, the sun top does blow around in the wind, especially a windy day on the highway. We like that it has easy to open doors with no nets to get tangled in. It's low to the ground, so easy for any age to step into. And it has seat belts like a normal car that are easy to figure out. Something that we are going to change, it does come with a rear view mirror, but it's not natural to look up into. We're going to add the right and left side mirrors so we can safely get around our crowded property. If you're looking for an ORV for hauling cargo that can easily move people and easily hit the trails, Yamaha's Viking 6 has you covered. If you're ever in the area, stop by Tri City Motor Speedway in Auburn, Michigan and see it in action for the Steven Cycle Sales Ride Experience.